how I got to New York City. I first came here in 2009 by myself. I didn't know anybody. And, um, I ended up setting up a few meetings. And then the one meeting turned into a few more. And closing doors came from... Um, I got invited to take part in this songwriting workshop. I actually went home the evening of the workshop and uh, I was living in Queens and I had only been in New York about a month and I suppose I was quite taken back by a lot of the homelessness in the city and you don't see as much of it in Belfast or Derry or Dublin, um, New York it's on a much grander scale. So I just had this idea, I thought why not write a song about this. I've realised that a lot of the times it's the things that you try to take out are the things that are the best things about it. So if you record something and there's a rattle on the string or there's the sound of your, your pick scraping the side of the guitar, all those little things are character. Even your breath and the microphone. A lot of times that comes through in recordings and I'm trying to edit it and sometimes you just leave it and you go away for a day and come back and you listen to it and you're going, wow, that's a really, really good take. Whenever I first started writing music, all I did was write songs and I was so precise. Everything had to be perfect. Now it's more about the vibe. I just remember out of the blue, like you're getting this email from this young girl saying, look John, um, I hope you don't mind. I know you didn't make your songs available for download or whatever, but I've taken them off your MySpace. And she, she was from like middle America. And she was like, I had them on my iPod. And these were like bedroom demos. They were like really rough on a cassette player. And she said, I listen to them every day on my way to school and it makes it so much easier. This is unbelievable. Like I've sat in my damp student accommodation in Belfast, wrote a few songs, and a few days later I get this email from this kid saying, um, I listen to your songs every day and they help me through the day. They make it easier to get out of bed. Was pretty much was the email. It was like, I listened to them on the school bus and um, I just want to thank you so much for writing them. Yeah, that's the, that's the feeling you want more of, you know.